Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Before we get into tonight's game, I wanted to ask a question. Do you have extra cards lying around that you don't use? Want to buy or trade for some extra cards but don't know how to maximize the value? Then you should try out today's sponsor, Card Conduit. Card Conduit is the best service when it comes to selling your extra cards. Don't waste hours trying to find the best buy list price for your cards online. Simply send them to Card Conduit and let them take care of the rest. I have used Card Conduit multiple times already. I always use them to get the best value for my extra cards. I get fair prices for my cards and they save me tons of time. They have three main services. Their standard service lets you send them your unsorted cards of any value. They will sort, grade, and give you the best price for your cards. Their curated service is similar. Send them your unsorted cards worth over a dollar in value. They will charge half the fee of the standard service and charge no fee per card. Their sorted service is a great value as well. Choose cards in advance with their selection tool, send them sorted to Card Conduit, and they will grade and buy list them automatically. Save yourself the time of having to send to multiple sites and let Card Conduit do it instead. Their fee is only 2% with no fee per card. They give you the best price for your cards. They work with competitive buy listing partners, including ones not open to the public. Users get an average of 19% more for their collection than they would from any major retail buy list, even with Card Conduit's fees. Card Conduit also optimizes buy listing for card condition as well. Since vendors have different penalties for wear and tear, Card Conduit will find the best buy list priced against the specific condition of the card. So give Card Conduit a try today. If you sign up with my link in the description below or use the promo code POWER, you will also get 10% off of their fees when you use their service. A big thanks to Card Conduit for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Zack, piloting the partner pair of Timna the Weaver and Krom Ludovic's Opus. This deck, known as Blue Farm, is a mid-range ad nauseum deck that utilizes its two commanders to grind out value and close out the game with Thassa's Oracle. Zack's opening hand contains a Morphic Pool, Tundra, Swan Song, Counterbalance, Chrome Mox, Drenith Magistrate, and a Mox Diamond. Next, we have Sanuski, piloting the partner pair of Rograk, Son of Rogah, and Silas Wren, Seeker Adept. This is a turbo deck that tries to cast Ad Nauseam as quickly as possible and pilot that advantage to a win. His opening hand contains a Polluted Delta, Mana Crypt, Mystic Remora, Deadly Rollick, and his three London Mulligans are Simeon Spirit Guide, Phyrexian Tower, and a Flooded Strand. After that, we have Zane, also piloting Rograk and Silas Wren. Like Sanuski's deck, this deck also tries to power out an early ad nauseum to fuel its victory. His opening hand contains a Mana Confluence, Lotus Petal, Fierce Guardianship, Tainted Pact, Brain Freeze, Time Twister, and a Daze. Finally, we have Memo, piloting Najila the Blade Blossom. This is a 5-color deck that can either utilize its commander in several many-layered combos or use ad nauseum to outvalue its opponents. Memo's opening hand contains a Bloodstained Mire, Talisman of Progress, Plateau, Veil of Summer, Eladamri's Call, Rograk, Son of Rogah, and a Mystic Remora. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more content. Also, be sure to check us out on social media to get all of the latest updates. Without further ado, let's kick off this display of delightfully deviant devastation. Zack survived the last dab challenge and gets to start us off. Zack draws a card for turn and plays a Tundra. He casts a Mox Diamond, discarding a Morphic Pool. He casts Dranith Magistrate. The table groans, and Zack passes the turn. Sanuski draws for turn and plays a Polluted Delta. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. He casts a Mystic Remora. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts a Lotus Petal. Well situated, Sanuski ends his turn. Zane draws and plays a Mana Confluence. He casts a Lotus Petal. Remora triggers and Sanuski draws. Zane ships the turn. Memo draws a card for turn and plays a Verdant Catacombs. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tropical Island onto the battlefield. He casts a Mystic Remora of his own. Remora triggers and Sanuski draws. Memo casts Rograx, Son of Rogah. Sanuski and Zane stare at their own Rograx, locked out by Drenith Magistrate, and shake their heads at the irony. All through, Memo sends the turn to Zack. Zack draws and casts a Chrome Mox. Both Remoras trigger and Memo and Sanuski draw. It resolves and Zack imprints Pact of Negation. He casts his commander, Timna the Weaver. He moves to combat and attacks Zane with Drenith Magistrate. Zane takes it and in his second main phase, Zack pays a life and draws a card through Timna. Finished up, Zack passes the turn. During his upkeep, Sanuski pays for his Mystic Remora. Also in his upkeep, he loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws, takes no actions, and passes. Zane draws and plays an Underground Sea. With no further actions, he ends his turn. During his upkeep, Memo pays for his Remora. He draws and plays a Bloodstained Mire as his land for turn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. He casts a Soul Ring. Remora triggers and Sanuski draws. Memo casts Talisman of Progress. Remora triggers and Sanuski draws again. All finished, Memo passes the turn. Zack draws and heads straight to combat. He attacks Sanuski with Temna and Zane with Dranith. 
They both take it, and in his second main phase, Zack pays two life and draws two cards through Timna. He plays a Wooded Foothills as his land for turn. He casts Counterbalance. Both Remora's trigger and Memo and Sanuski draw. Then Counterbalance resolves. Finished up, Zack passes to Sanuski. During his upkeep, Sanuski pays for his Remora. Also in his upkeep, he wins his Mana Crypt flip. He draws and plays a Blood Crypt into play untapped, paying two life. He casts Talisman of Dominance. Remora and Counterbalance trigger. Zack reveals a Flooded Strand off of the top of his library through Counterbalance, and then Memo draws a card through Remora. Then Talisman resolves. All through, Sanuski ends his turn. Zane draws and plays a Volcanic Island. With no further actions, once again, he passes to Memo. During Memo's upkeep, his Remora triggers. In response, he casts Worldly Tutor. Counterbalance and Remora trigger. Sanuski draws, then Zack declines to reveal through Counterbalance. Worldly Tutor resolves, and Memo fetches up a Dockside Extortionist onto the top of his library. He then pays for his Remora. He draws for turn and then plays a Plateau. He casts Dockside Extortionist. Counterbalance triggers and, in response, Zack sacrifices his Wooded Foothills, pays a life, and fetches up a Badlands onto the battlefield. He reveals a Ragavan Nimble Pilferer through Counterbalance, then Dockside resolves. It enters, and Memo creates eight treasures. Memo ends his turn. Zack draws for turn and then dashes in Ragavan Nimble Pilferer. He moves to combat and attacks Zane with Timna and Sanuski with Ragavan. Both declare no blocks, Ragavan triggers, Zack creates a treasure, and Sanuski exiles Rhystic Study off of the top of his library. In his second main phase, Zack pays two life and draws two cards through Timna. He plays a City of Traitors as his land for turn. He casts Sanuski's Rhystic Study from Exile. Both Remora's trigger and Memo and Sanuski draw. In response, Sanuski casts Swan Song, targeting Rhystic Study. Remora and Counterbalance trigger. Zack reveals a Dark Ritual off of the top of his library, countering Swan Song. Then Memo draws through Remora. With Rhystic still in the stack, Memo flashes in, an Archivist of Agma. It resolves, and with Rhystic still in the stack, Zane hard casts Fierce Guardianship, targeting Rhystic. Both Remoras and Counterbalance trigger, and in response, Zack casts a Swan Song of his own, targeting Fierce Guardianship. Both Remoras trigger, and Memo and Sanuski draw. In response, Memo casts Eladomri's Call. Remora triggers, and Sanuski draws. Eladomri's Call resolves, and Memo fetches up a Grim Hireling into his hand. Then Swan Song counters Fierce Guardianship, and Zane creates a 2 2 bird. Then the Remora triggers resolve, and Memo and Sanuski draw. Finally, Rhystic Study resolves. Zack moves to his end step, and Ragaman returns to Zack's hand. The turn moves to Sanuski. During his upkeep, Sanuski pays for his Remora. He also loses his Mana Crypt flip, taking 3 damage. He draws and plays a Badlands. He casts Talisman of Indulgence. Remora, Counterbalance, and Rhystic all trigger. Zack draws through Rhystic, then reveals an Underworld Breach off the top of his library through Counterbalance, countering Talisman. Then Memo draws through Remora. Next, Sanuski casts Ragavan, Nimble Pilferer. Rhystic and Counterbalance trigger, Zack draws through Rhystic, then reveals Rhystic Study off at the top of his library. Then Ragavan resolves. Sanuski casts Mox Amber. Remora, Counterbalance, and Rhystic all trigger again. Zack draws through Rhystic, then reveals a Talisman of Creativity through Counterbalance, then Memo draws through Remora, then the Mox Amber resolves. Sanuski passes, discarding to hand size. Zane draws and casts Time Twister. Remora, Rhystic, Counterbalance, and Remora all trigger. Sanuski draws through Remora, Zack draws through Rhystic, then chooses not to reveal through Counterbalance, and then Memo draws through Remora. With Time Twister still in the stack, Memo casts Veil of Summer. Rhystic, Counterbalance, and Remora trigger. Sanuski draws through Remora, Zack reveals Mox Opal through Counterbalance, and then draws through Rhystic. In response to Time Twister, Sanuski casts Force of Negation for its alternate cost, exiling a blue card, targeting Veil of Summer. Remora, Counterbalance, and Rhystic trigger. Zack draws, doesn't reveal through Counterbalance, and Memo draws through Remora. In response, Memo casts Swan Song, targeting Force of Negation. Counterbalance, Rhystic, and Remora trigger. Sanuski draws, Zack draws, then reveals a Toxic Deluge through Counterbalance. In response, Sanuski casts Red Elemental Blast, targeting Swan Song. Remora, Counterbalance, and Rhystic trigger. Zack draws, chooses not to reveal through Counterbalance, and then Memo draws. Finally, with nothing else, Red Blast counters Swan Song, and Force of Negation counters and exiles Veil of Summer. With Time Twister still in the stack, Sanuski exiles Simeon Spirit Guide from his hand, floating a red. Then Time Twister resolves, everyone shuffles their hands and graveyards into their libraries, and then draws 7. Next, Zane plays a Steam Vents into play untapped, paying 2 life. He attempts to move through phases, and in response, Sanuski uses his Floating Red to cast Red Elemental Blast, targeting Counterbalance. Remora, Rhystic, and Counterbalance all trigger. Zack reveals a Watery Grave through Counterbalance, Zack draws through Rhystic, and then Memo draws through Remora. Then Red Elemental Blast resolves, and Counterbalance is destroyed. All through, Zane passes to Memo. During Memo's upkeep, his Remora triggers. In response, he casts Mystical Tutor. Sanuski's Remora triggers, and he draws. Tutor resolves, and Memo fetches up a Tainted Pact onto the top of his library. He exiles Simeon Spirit Guide from his hand to help pay for Remora. He draws, and plays a Bloodstained Mire for turn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Bayou onto the battlefield. He casts out Mana Ball. Remora and Rhystic trigger, and Sanuski and Zack draw. Memo casts Eldritch Evolution, sacrificing Dockside as an additional cost. Remora and Rhystic trigger, and Sanuski and Zack draw again. 
Evolution resolves and Memo fetches up a Thassa's Oracle onto the battlefield. Oracle triggers and, holding priority, Memo casts Tainted Pact. Remora and Ristic trigger and Zanutsuki and Zack draw. In response, Zanutsuki casts Force of Negation for its alternate cost, exiling a Brain Freeze targeting Tainted Pact. Ristic and Remora trigger and Zack and Memo draw. In response, Memo hard casts Fierce Guardianship targeting Force of Negation. Remora and Ristic trigger and Zanutsuki and Zack draw again. In response, Sanuski casts Daze for its alternate cost, bouncing Underground Sea back to his hand, targeting Fierce Guardianship. Ristic and Remora trigger, and Zack and Memo draw. Unfortunately tapped up, Memo has no response. Daze counters Fierce Guardianship, then Force of Negation counters and exiles Tainted Pact. Then Oracle's trigger resolves, and Memo looks at the top three cards of his library, leaving one on top and bottoming the rest. Plans thwarted, Memo passes the turn. At the end of Memo's turn, Zack casts Brainstorm. Both Remora triggers, and Sanuski and Memo draw. Then Brainstorm resolves, and Zack draws three and puts two back on top. The turn moves to Zack. Zack draws and casts Grim Tutor. Both Remora's trigger, and Memo and Sanuski draw. Then Zack fetches up a card into his hand and loses three life. Archivist of Ogma triggers, and Memo draws a card and gains a life. Zack plays a Command Tower as his land for turn. City of Traders triggers, and he sacrifices it. He casts Dockside Extortionist. In response, Memo casts Force of Whale for its alternate cost, paying a life, exiling a blue card, targeting Dockside. Remora and Ristic trigger, and Sanuski and Zack draw. Then Force resolves, countering Dockside. Next, Zack casts Mystic Remora. Both Remora's trigger and Memo and Sanuski draw. Then Remora resolves. He casts a Mana Ball. Both Remora's trigger and Memo and Sanuski draw again. He casts a Lotus Petal and Memo and Sanuski draw. Zack casts Time Twister. Both Remora's trigger and Memo and Sanuski draw. In response, Sanuski casts Flusterstorm with all copies targeting Time Twister. Both Remora's and Ristic trigger, Memo draws one and Zack draws two. Then Flusterstorm resolves, countering Time Twister. Zack casts a Felwar Stone. Both Remora's trigger and Memo and Sanuski draw. He casts an Esper Sentinel. With nothing else, Zack passes, discarding to hand size. During his upkeep, Sanuski's Remora and Mana Crypt trigger. He wins his Mana Crypt roll, and with a Remora trigger still in the stack, he casts Vampiric Tutor. Remora, Ristic, Esper Sentinel, and Remora all trigger. Zack draws three, and Memo draws one. Vampiric Tutor resolves, and Sanuski fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. Then he lets his Remora die. He draws and plays a Gemstone Mine. He casts Demonic Tutor. Both Ristics and Remora trigger, Zack draws two, and Memo draws one. Then Demonic resolves, and Sanuski fetches up a card into his hand. He casts a Mana Vault. Remora's and Ristic trigger, Zack draws two, and Memo draws one. Sanuski casts Defense Grid, paying for Ristic. Both Remora's trigger, and Zack and Memo draw. In response, Zack casts Force of Negation for its alternate cost, exiling a blue card, targeting Defense Grid. Remora triggers, and Memo draws. Force resolves, countering and exiling Defense Grid. Next, Sanuski casts Rite of Flame. Ristic and Remora's trigger, Zack draws two, and Memo draws one. Right resolves, and Sanuski adds two red. He casts Dark Ritual, Zack draws two, and Memo draws one. Then Ritual resolves, and Sanuski adds three black. He casts Bergy, God of Storytelling. Zack's Ristic triggers, and he draws. Then Bergy resolves. Sanuski casts Mox Opal. Bergy, Remora, Ristic, and Remora all trigger. Zack draws two, Memo draws one, then Sanuski adds a red through Bergy. Then Opal resolves. Sanuski casts Culling the Weak, sacrificing Ragavan as an additional cost. Zack draws two, Memo draws one, and then Sanuski adds a red through Bergy. Then Culling the Weak resolves, and he adds four black. Sanuski casts Jessica's Will. Zack draws two, Memo draws one, then Sanuski adds a red through Bergy. Then Will resolves, and Sanuski exiles a Mystical Tutor, Crystal Bane, and an Ammonic Betrayal. Sanuski follows it up by casting a Windfall. Zack draws two, Memo draws one, then Sanuski adds a red through Bergy. In response, Zack casts Fierce Guardianship for its alternate cost, targeting Windfall. Memo's Remora triggers, and in response, Sanuski casts Tainted Pact. Zack draws two, Memo draws one, and then Sanuski adds a red through Bergy. Then Tainted Pact resolves. He exiles until he finds a Chain of Vapor and puts it into his hand. Then the other three note that Sanuski exiled Underworld Breach, Lion's Eye Diamond, and Dockside, and wonder what exactly Sanuski has in mind. With Windfall still in the stack, Sanuski casts Chain of Vapor, targeting his own Mox Opal. Zack draws two, Memo draws one, then Sanuski adds a red through Bergy. Chain resolves, bouncing Mox Opal back to Sanuski's hand, and then he sacrifices Blood Crypt to copy the chain, targeting his own Mana Crypt. Crypt bounces, he sacrifices a Badlands to copy the chain, targeting his own Talisman of Dominance. Talisman bounces, he sacrifices Gemstone Caverns to copy the chain, targeting Zack's Draneth Magistrate. Draneth bounces, and Zack sacrifices a Tundra to copy the chain, targeting Sanuski's Bergy. Bergy bounces, and Sanuski doesn't continue the chain. Then Fierce Guardianship resolves, countering Windfall. Next, Sanuski casts Mana Crypt. Zack draws two, and Memo draws one. He casts Mox Opal. Zack draws two, and Memo draws one again. Sanuski follows it up with a Mnemonic Betrayal. Zack draws two, and Memo draws one. In response, Zane casts Swansong, targeting Betrayal. Remora, Ristic, Esper Sentinel, and Remora all trigger. 
In response, Zanuski pays two life to cast Mental Misstep, targeting Swansong. Zack draws two, and Memo draws one, and in response, Memo casts Mind Break Trap for its alternate cost, targeting Mnemonic Betrayal and Mental Misstep. Remora, Rhystic, and Esper all trigger, and Zack draws three. Mind Break Trap resolves, exiling both spells. Then Zack's Remora, Rhystic, and Esper triggers, and Memo's Remora triggers all resolve, and Zack draws three, and Memo draws one. Then Swansong fizzles. Next, Sanuski casts Talisman of Dominance. Zack draws two, and Memo draws one. He casts Mystical Tutor. Zack draws two, and Memo draws one again. Then Tutor resolves, and Sanuski fetches up a Demonic Consultation onto the top of his library. Archivist of Ogma triggers, and Memo draws a card and gains a life. After a very long turn, Sanuski passes to Zane. Zane draws for turn, and casts Tainted Pact. Remora, Rhystic, Sentinel, and Remora all trigger. Zack draws three, and Memo draws one. Then Pact resolves, and Zane exiles until he finds a Mnemonic Betrayal and puts it into his hand. He casts Mnemonic Betrayal. Zack draws two, and Memo draws one. In response, Memo casts Force of Negation for its alternate cost, exiling a blue card targeting Betrayal. Remora, Rhystic, and Sentinel all trigger, and Zack draws three. Force resolves, countering and exiling Mnemonic Betrayal. Zane plays a Flooded Strand. He casts a Mox Opal. Zack draws two, Memo draws one, then Opal resolves. Finished up, Zane passes to Memo. During his upkeep, Memo lets his Remora die. During his draw step, he takes the damage from his Mana Vault. He draws and casts Grand Abolisher, paying for Rhystic. In response, Zack casts Force of Will for its alternate cost, exiling a blue card targeting Grand Abolisher. In response, Memo casts Pact of Negation, paying for both Rhystic and Sentinel. Remora triggers and Zack draws. In response, Zane cracks his Flooded Strand, paying a life, but actually fails to find a land. Memo's Archivist of Ogma triggers, and he gains a life and draws a card. Pact of Negation resolves, countering Force of Will. Then Grand Abolisher resolves. Memo plays an Exotic Orchard as his land for turn. He casts a Mana Crypt. Zack skips his draws as he sees the writing on the wall. Memo casts Mox Diamond, discarding a Volcanic Island. He casts Underworld Breach. He casts Gamble. He fetches up a card into his hand and then randomly discards Demonic Consultation. He casts Lion's Eye Diamond. He cracks his LED, discards his hand, and adds three white. He escapes Soul Partition from his graveyard, targeting Thassa's Oracle. It resolves and Oracle is exiled. He escapes Lion's Eye Diamond. He cracks LED and adds three blue. He casts Thassa's Oracle from exile. Thassa's Oracle triggers and in response, Memo escapes Demonic Consultation, naming You Are Already Dead. Consult resolves and Memo exiles his library. Then Oracle's trigger resolves and Memo wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a crazy game. Congrats to Memo on his win. Despite never casting his commander due to an early Draeneth Magistrate, he utilized his card advantage engines to efficiently build up critical mass for not one, but two attempts at a combo win. The most valuable card in tonight's game, sponsored by Luxury Playstyle, goes to Mystic Remora. Memo and Sanuski's early Remoras allowed them to dictate how the game would proceed, as well as have answers for when the other players went for game-altering plays. This game is yet another example how feeding the fish is usually a bad idea. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time when we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.